Go meet the Pokemon professor herself. I will, I will, I will. Indeed, video game, I will. Hello there, everybody, and welcome to part three of Pokemon Sword. So on the last time with Pokemon Sword, we made it all the way over to Wedgehurst. We got our Pokedex, we did some shopping, and we did some skippable tutorials. Again, who would have thought that you could actually skip tutorials? I'm never gonna let that go. I'm gonna pound that right into your head. I'm gonna pound that right into your souls. But anyway, we have a Chutil. We got 20 Pokeballs from Leon, so let's say that we catch some Pokemon, eh? And ooh, yep, that that's how it is. That you got water gun. Anyway, I love this thing. <laughs> Chutil. I always like saying Chutu is pretty cool. It's basically your, if, if it's not Sobble, then this is where you get your water type. All right, let's see. Yeah, got a Chutu. <laughs> and of course, this being a good thing, Pokemon gain experience. There's actually a little bit more to it than that when it comes to experience. When your Pokemon are at lower levels and you catch a Pokemon that's higher, or if you beat a Pokemon that's higher leveled, uh, the lower leveled Pokemon will actually gain more experience than those are that are high leveled. So that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Uh, I think it was Pokemon Black and White that had that, uh, you know, skip. Why is every Pokemon... Why the f why the frick is every Pokemon like I catch female? I wanted to name it after the the guppies, the true the true bubble guppy standards. But of course, I'm gonna name it after the new one, Zuli, because why not? That's what happens when you go on for five seasons. Yes, the standard has returned, folks. <laughs> yep, and you'll never see it come back ever again. <laughs> Since this could be the penultimate example of how something could be good. Anyway, we got a blip bug. The Galaregion's bug type. And of course, we're going to catch it. Any Pokemon that I will catch will be sh uh, will have their final evolution stats shown on screen. Just so you know if this is the Pokemon that you want to use. Uh, so anyway, let's catch it. Uh, there was something else that I wanted to say, actually, but I kind of forgot what it was. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, wait. Before I do that first. Before I do that. Bah! Gotta level up. And we get the Pokedex entry, of course. A constant collector of information. This Pokemon is very smart. Very strong is what it isn't. <laughs> wow. I I can't. I don't. I don't. That is... Um, uh, uh, you weak, <laughs> you West, no, you weak. <laughs> now, if you sent your, if you set your option to have Pokemon automatically set to your Pokedex, your boxes to manual, then you have the option to add it to your party or to send it to your box. In fact, you can even check on your cop Pokemon's summary. Isn't that amazing? I believe that's a thing since Sun and Moon, I believe. So, yeah. Ooh, quiet nature. Hmm. Well, I haven't used most of my other mons yet. So, I think I'll just send it to a box. But yeah, uh, anyway... Um, okay, another thing actually worth noting is that you may find Pokemon through non-random encounters, but the ones with the exclamation points are random, and you won't know what it is until you encounter it. So, yeah, that's your thing. And one thing that I will continue on from Pokemon Let's Go is my brand new tradition of handling teams in Pokemon games. 
Just like with Let's Go, I won't have a planned team. So you'll never know which Pokemon I'm going to end up with. I'm going to catch lots of Pokemon so that I can see what they're capable of. And since there's about like 600 of them, if you purchase the DLC or not really, because the 600 Pokemon are available like regardless. And let me say that again. The 600 Pokemon that are in this game are available regardless of whether or not you have the DLC. There's a lot of options to... There's a lot of options. Hi, kid. It's common manners for Pokemon trainers to battle when their eyes meet. Because everything is so British, you got Youngster Jake. Your first regular trainer. He's got a little squirrel vet. So, let's do this. Oh, and if you want a real glow up in uh, resolution, uh, take a look at the 3DS version of Pokemon and how it handled being able to see Pokemon trainers. They look really pixelated, do they? They look so good. Well, it's like the old standby says. If the 3DS version looks like this, then the Nintendo Switch version looks like this. Because this is technically the first true Pokemon game to be in 1080p. And of course, since my videos are now going to be in 1080p, you'll see the beauty of this game. Even though technically it isn't on the same graphical level, like I've said like plenty of times already. I think it still looks nice. It looks fine. Whenever there's a strong trainer, I always look right at him. Give me your money, kid. I, I, I can take you on. Fight you in real life. And, ooh, we got a hoodoo. Hey, what's good? Oh, and just so you're aware, this isn't a complete Pokedex run. I would never in all my life go for a complete Pokedex run. But I might as well just uh, catch any Pokemon anyway to see, you know, whether or not you think it might be worth it. I got him. I got the hoot. And of course, I'll read their Pokedex. It always stands on one foot. It changes feet so fast, the movement can rarely be seen. I mean, if you watch the Pokemon anime, then you would know that Hoot Hoot can change feet. Uh, like, real... <laughs> real smooth, like... All right, so let's see what we got. We got two potions. I believe this is actually the first Pokemon game that has the po that has like items in like multiple quantities, or rather, you know, you finding po Pokeballs with items in it that have, you know, multiple quantities. Like here, we got three Pokeballs instead of just one. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty pretty cool. Uh, what's that? Oh. It's just another Trudel. Oh, wait. Oh, God. what is that? Oh, it's just another Trudel. Never mind. Cute and strong together in combination. And because of the way that last Lauren is uh, dressed, now I should probably properly explain. The Gala region is based off the UK. So that's why you have all these... Uh, British sayings like right state or telly and why all why most of the Pokemon trainers here are like in British outfits like the last would be like in a boarding school uniform or whatever so I think that's pretty cool like I really like the Gala region style and because of course they didn't do decide to do that um <laughs> Uh, the Pokemon anime, both of them, Twilight Wings and Pokemon Journeys, they don't have, you know, British accents for the Galar characters. Only when Gloria joined in Pokemon Masters, which is the default name for the female trainer in Sword and Shield, only when she joined did we actually have the proper accents. So that feel when the mobile game did more than what the games, anime, two of them, did 
So yeah, you can beat Hop. So let's see what you got, buddy. A blip bug. Well, no one, no wonder why you lost. The Pokedex says it isn't strong. So, so it's pretty obvious. So it's pretty obvious that you won't win anyway. Uh, let's switch out our Pokemon here for the first time. I'm gonna properly switch out leads. So let's do this. Struggle bug. I mean, pretty obviously that that's basically the only move that Blip Bug has when you start off with it. And there we go. I hope that Hop has a full team because uh, he's not going to beat me. And you got to nick it. Level 7 already. Ooh. Cool. Ooh, got a critical hit. Okay. That's cool. That's fine. And actually, let's use uh, Home Claws. You can press Y to bring up the move info, just in case you forget. Very easy, very convenient. Ooh, you got a quick attack. Okay. Does anyone... Okay. Raise your hand if you honestly thought they were going to change Pokemon's animations when they moved to the Nintendo Switch. And also, they brought in the next generation. Did no one raise their hand? Well, you're probably in the right with that one. Lose to all Pokemon, lose to many trainers. And <laughs> I, I, I always do like weird noises whenever I lose. Or whenever I have trainers lose. Uh, you know what? We haven't used beat them, beat them cheeks yet. So let's let's bring out her. Because every Pokemon that I have has to be female, am I right? Well, except for Ball and Hot Buns, though. I thought we were gonna get a female uh, starter, which is actually really rare because boy starters are more common than fe than girl starters are. My Tepic from Pokemon Black would have to say otherwise. Look, there's the professor. So, have you unraveled the secrets of the Dynamax phenomenon yet? Oh, goodness, no. The whole thing is still full of questions. I'd hope my granddaughter would take over my research, but... Dear me, I'm sorry. I didn't notice I had guests. My name is Magnolia. Welcome, young trainers. Now come, let's head indoors. God, old lady professor is pretty cool. Why, Hop, dear? I see Wulu has made some new friends. And you must be Charlie. I trust you received the Pokedex from Sonia. I'm sure you'll have it complete in no time. Never. You must already know about Dynamaxing, right, Charlie? Professor Magnolia has been doing research into the Dynamax phenomenon for years and years. And it takes a proper understanding of the thing if you plan to use Dynamaxing to the fullest. There you go again, Leon, always talking about Pokemon. There are other things that are worth knowing about too, you know. Like how many different types of tea there are. Hey, Professor, do us a favor, would you? Help me convince Lee he should endorse such for the gym challenge. Oh, Leon, why wouldn't you endorse them? Hop and Charlie only just started out as Pokemon trainers. There's still loads they don't know yet. Jerry, I thought your dream was to have everyone in the Gala region become strong trainers. Isn't that right? Well, yeah, you're not wrong. That goal is precisely the reason why I gave them both Pokemon, in fact. Hop, if you would stop that for one freaking second. Right then. In that case, how about this? Let's see if the two of you can show me a brilliant battle that I'm left with no choice but to endorse you. And don't worry, I'll make sure both of your teams are in good shape before the battle starts. Right, I'll be waiting outside, Charlie. 
Eh, who cares about a battle? I want to explore the house. Shoot! Squee! <laughs> I love him. I love him. Again, are you just some random dude who's living in this house? Do what plants would want again instead of what you want. Keep that in mind. Plants will grow. Well, if you keep that in mind, uh, brother. Now remember, be sure to give it everything you've got. That's the best thing you can do for your Pokemon and yourself too. Oh, you bet I will, old grandma. Here's Sonya's room. Uh, he's got a she's got a Yampa sticker. Yamper sticker. God. There's some scientific journals and fashion magazines mixed in with the old books. I mean, of course there is. She has an iPad. She's got wireless headphones. No TV, though, because, they're, because of course, she wouldn't have a Nintendo Switch. I mean, how is she going to play LOL Surprise Remix uh, Rock the World? How is anyone supposed to play that game? Hurry it up, Charlie! You gotta battle me so I can get myself that endorsement! Alright, Dad! Jesus! Uh, let's see if I'm properly ready for this, though. I do have my lead out, but I don't have the information up yet. Okay, I think I'm good. I'm going to become the greatest Pokemon trainer there ever was, like no one ever was! And to do that, I need that endorsement to take part in the gym challenge! Come at me with everything you have so that we can prove to Lee we got what it takes. I'm rather interested in seeing how you two young trainers battle too. Listen, you two. The reason I'm unbeatable is because I learn from every battle I see or take part in. That's how I've gotten to where I am today. So show me something good in this battle. Time for my legend to begin. Hop round two already. Let's do this. He starts with his Wulu, level six, normal type with tackle and growl. All right, beat him, Cheeks. Let's see what you got. Have you gotten a bit stronger? My, me and my team will put you to the test and see. Now I'm going to do British accents too. Okay. So, uh, ugh. Oh, God. Well, it's a good thing that I have bite, actually. <laughs> really good thing I have bite. Because it's stronger than tackle. Unfortunately, beat him cheeks doesn't go first. Well, the reason that I wanted you want bite to go first is because of the fact that, uh, bite sometimes can make Pokemon flinch. And look at this. Isn't this cool? Like, Leon and Magnolia are actually watching the fight. That's pretty cool. I know there's, like, one case where Sun and Moon did it, but... Yeah. That's really cool that someone actually gets to watch the fight. You see, I like the little details, and someone actually complained that I love the details. Who a thunk? Wow, a lot of level ups for everybody. Grookey. Got your starter on deck. His Grookey, or his starter, will be at level 8, whatever type it is. For Grookey, he'll have Scratch, Growl, and Branch Poke, which is the, a brand new uh, Grass-type move. Uh, let's actually send out Kasumi. Why not? Yeah, Branch Poke is a brand new Grass-type move. Sable will have Ground, pound, ground, wait, ground, Growl, Pound, and Water Gun. And Score Bunny will have Taco Ground Growl and Ember. All right, so let's use Beat Up. Have a taste of our power. Our green power just keeps on going stronger. That's a power green. <laughs> okay, it's a good thing that I have uh, my Orin Berry on deck. Good. All right, so let's use Beat Up. Beat Up is a move that hits for how many times you have Pokemon on your team. So it basically means that if you have six Pokemon, then the move will hit six times. 
You landed a critical hit on my Pokemon? You got plenty of spirit, that's for sure. So, yeah. The greater number of attacks is equal to how many of your Pokemon you have in your party. And now let, let's use Quick Attack before I inevitably switch out. Because I know I'm not going to be using Nickit for very long. And there he goes. Okay, uh, Zuli, let's, uh, let's see what you got. Actually, actually, no, this is a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, uh, burp job. Do it, do it, do it. Go, go, go. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Bad idea. Yeah, uh, burp job is obviously a better idea. Maybe I just want Zuli to get the experience. Yeah, I definitely wanted Zuli to gain the experience. Well, look at you. Seems you really learned your type matchups. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Branch Poke and then Ornberry. See? See how useful uh, berries can be? Act they can actually be really, really good at this point at this point in time. And there it is. Unfortunately, because Kasumi fainted, she won't gain any, any experience. It'll be a close one, but that's exactly my kind of match. His new, his new blood, Rookadi, is level five, uh, flying type, with peer, with peer, Leer, and Peck. So, yeah, unfortunately, I don't have any list of abilities, unfortunately. I mean, no offense to Cerebi.net, but I wish it would add the abilities already. But it doesn't, but it matters not, because this battle's mine. Oof, good at that I lost, but I expect nothing less from my rival. That's right, I'm the best. Never forget it. And I even got my Pokeball throw perfect too. The sting of defeat and the joy of victory. I guess going through both is the key to two of us getting stronger, eh? Charlie, hop! Well, after seeing a match like that one, I suppose I have little choice but to give you both an enjoyment. As champion. Here. I'm going to hand you nothing. Yes. Thanks, Lee. I swear I'm going to win my way through the gym challenge to reach you. You may both be young still and plenty rough around the edges, but that was a proper battle. Charizard and I were both feeling the excitement in every last cell in our bodies. Hop, you've always tended to be caught up in things like how you throw your Pokeball out. Things you that have nothing to do with real strength. Honestly, I'd be worried about you still obsessing over that nonsense, but it seems that you've really grown a bit, little brother. And I'd like to see some more thrilling Pokemon battles out of you too, Charlie. Alright, Charlie! You and me are going to train up against against one another to aim for that champion's title! Against one another? Really? That's the way of it when you got a great rival. Just like you've got me and I got you. Huh? What's that? Charlie! Would you look at this? The wishing stars! Since there are two of them, you should take one yourself. With one of these, my Pokemon can Dynamax! They're going to be massive! Yes! Trust you to pull something like this. They say wishing stars fall down for those who have a true wish in their heart, you know. 
I will be the greatest trainer ever. I will be the greatest trainer ever. I will be the greatest trainer ever. There, I said it three times, so surely my wish must come true now, right? Don't be silly, Hop. Those whistling stars are composed of a curious sort of rock containing unknown power. They are one of the most precious resources we have here in the Gala region. But they won't do a thing for you in that state. Give them to me now and I'll have you sorted. All right. You've done heaps of research on the Dynamax phenomenon, haven't you, Professor? Then please give me and Charlie the power to Dynamax our Pokemon. First, we got a battle against that mad Pokemon that somebody wield, and now this. It really feels like we're getting caught up in an adventure of a lifetime. I do understand your excitement, young man, but don't get carried away. You want to save your energy for tomorrow's journey. Seems I came back home at the right time with all the excitement. Hey, you lot. Why don't you have some dinner? You must be hungry, right? I've been totally obsessed with making the latest trendy curries. It's morning at last, and time for our adventure to truly start. Good morning to you, young challengers. Hop, is it true that you really met some Pokemon you didn't recognize? Is there anything more you can tell me about it? Uh, well, there was heavy fog, and then this even weirder Pokemon appeared. Charlie tried to fight it off, but then I think we both passed out or something. It's all pretty hazy. A right front of information you are. Charlie, Hop, these are for you. You got a Dynamax band from Professor Magnolia and slipped it onto your wrist. Those are your Dynamax bands. I made them by fitting the wishing stars you found last night into those bands. Thanks, Professor. This is brilliant. It's just like the ones Lee has on him, too. Now we can Dynamax our Pokemon just like he does. My word. You don't waste any time, do you? I think you'll find that it's not as simple as that. There are a number of conditions you must meet if you hope to have your Pokemon Dynamax and take on that gigantic form. Now, don't be afraid to go to all sorts of places and meet all sorts of Pokemon. That'll fill up your Pokedex, too. My legend of my reign is finally about to begin. Ye. Come on, Charlie. I'll beat you to the station. You pretty much have no choice, man. A strange Pokemon in a slumbering wield. I don't know. I've got an uneasy feeling for some reason. I'd feel uneasy, too, if I got some fog from from Persona 4 stri straight out of that. You know how sometimes Pokemon see you out of the tall grass, yeah? If you move your soul like and crouch down, those Pokemon won't pay you any notice. But on the other hand, if you whistle at them, be they'll, you'll be sure to catch their attention. It's a bit of rub... If you're a bit of rubbish at whistling, just remember this. Need a fail proof trick? Press the left stick. Try it out, and let's see who can catch the most Pokemon, Charlie. You remember Wetcher Station, right? Where we went to pick up Lee before. That'll be our goal, so see you there. Let's like a start. <gasps> I want him! I want him! Uh, <laughs> well, it's a really good thing that Nuzzle always paralyzes. <laughs> yeah, I probably should have just started talking before. Uh, we just ran into paralysis, which is always a sure thing when you're using Nuzzle. 
Paralysis is a status condition that makes your Pokemon uh, makes your Pokemon speed stat uh, half, and sometimes you won't be able to move, or you rather you won't be able to launch an attack. But we got him! I want him! <laughs> I'm sorry. If a Yamper, if a Yamper is here, I want him. I will catch him, and I will name him Finn. Hi, Finn. You have a Pokemon named after you, Finn. <laughs> well, I'm. I, I know I'm immediately adding this to my party. Uh, yeah, Kasumi, please get out of here. Sorry, bud. It's just, I, I love Yamper, though. Yamper, Yamper is great. But anyway, as I was about to say before Finn, before Yamper interrupted. Uh, ooh, a special defense nature. Okay. Uh, and Yamper comes equipped with the ability, with the unique ability called Ball Fetch. If the Pokemon is not holding an item, it'll fetch the Pokeball that you, from the first failed throw of the battle. Could be useful, actually. But, uh, regardless. Um, so, much like a certain, uh, launch game for the Nintendo Switch, you can whistle in this game. That will cause Pokemon to, uh, ooh, look at that. A Pokemon with a weird aura. Oh, I will, I will explain that later because we've already done a lot this episode. You know, before we end things because I want this next episode to be huge, man. But anyway, um, yeah, you can whistle. And, oh, wait. Hang on. Does this Pokemon look familiar? Well, it should to you long time, buddies. It's a Zigzagoon. However, this isn't the same Zigzagoon that you know. Remember how I said that Indeedee looks exactly like how a Galarian Audino would be like? Except Galarian Audino isn't even a real thing. Well... Here's a Galarian Zigzagoon. Continuing the tradition from the Alola games, poke, some, certain older Pokemon have regional variants. And Zigzagoon just so happens to be one of the Pokemon that has a Galarian form. Sometimes regional variants can change type, some even change abilities, and blah, blah, blah. And especially in uh, this region of Pokemon, sometimes uh, po Galarian Pokemon can even evolve into completely different Pokemon. For example, Galarian Zigzagoon are the only Zigzagoon to evolve into Obstagoon, which is awesome. Taking regional variants one step further. And that's really, really cool. So it's not going to be a Galarian Lainu. No, it's a completely different Pokemon. And they even have different types and different descriptions. Its restlessness has it constantly running around. If it sees another Pokemon, then it will purposely run into them and start a fight. So, yes. There it is. There it is. You got... And Trent, why not? Let's check you out. I know this episode's already like long enough, but Ooh, neutral nature. Okay. Oh, cool. Uh, I'll send it to a box for now. Okay. So, uh, what was I saying? Okay. So, uh, yeah. So whistling basically catches Pokemon's attention. That, that's what I'm trying to say. Either way. Oh, ooh. Whenever you see a shining spot, that means there's an item. Some of these items uh, respawn almost every day. And uh, speaking of which, uh, one final note is the fact that in the main story of Pokemon Sword and Shield... There is no day and night cycle. Well, technically there is a day and night cycle, yes. But it's just not in the area that you think. 
most of the regular areas in Pokemon Sword and Shield's main story, Sword and Shield, for the main story at least, will have, will have just fixed, you know, time. So even though I'm recording this like at 11.30 right now at night, it's daytime here because the story indicates it. Which, it's a little bit weird, but, you know, whatever, we'll roll with it. Either way, either way, we're all good. We're all done here. So, on the next time with Pokemon Sword and Shield, or, or Sword, just Sword, we are gonna follow Hop to the train station. See you guys on next time. Thank you for watching, and... Uh,